At Midday by Lydia Sigone. For art in every place, being supreme, best seen and worshipped in the court above. Yet he on earth a countenance doth beam with rays of terror, majesty and love, and joys unspeakable thy smile do move. And none may veil him from thy piercing sight, escape thine hand, or from thy presence rove, or hid in secret cells, close wrapped in night, for unto thee the darkness shineth as the light. For dwellst where the curtained whirlwinds hide, where the armed thunder walks his lofty round, vaun the tempest of the night dust right. Flames mark thy path, and clouds thy cast around, and mighty winds are roused, and surging billows sound, while from thine eye the winged lightnings part. Thou in the highest arc of heaven art found, in the dark regions of the earth or art, and in the humble mansion of a country heart. The fear I bow me at thine awful seat, how to thy holy presence dare I press. But hark, a voice celestial seems to meet my waiting ear and my intrusion bless. Spread before me your wants and your distress, upon mine arm of strength your burdens cast, and intercessor fills the holy place. I come, the hour of terror now is past, I trust for wilt not leave me comfortless at last. And all the storms of life of bitter rage upon my sad, unsheltered head should blow, if trembling down the cold, dark step of age, my weak and unsupported step should go, my heart all sunk with failureness and woe, or wheresoe'er my unknown path should end, Still let my bosom at thy presence glow, still let my ceaseless prayers to thee as kent, and ever to my wounds thy kind compassion lend.